We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. We've heard it so often, it's almost a cliche, but it's who we are. We haven't always lived up to these ideals. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized. I knew the threat to this nation was unlike any I had ever seen in my lifetime. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. I believe history will look back on four years of this president and all he embraces as an aberrant moment in time. We must take back the streets. It doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. That's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, become uh, uh, social, uh, become socialized into the fabric of society. Folks, America is an idea, an idea that's stronger than any army, bigger than any ocean, more powerful than any dictator or tyrant. It gives hope to the most desperate people on earth. It guarantees that everyone is treated with dignity and gives hate no safe harbor. So I don't want to ask what made them do this. They must be taken off the street. We have to remember who we are. This is America. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets.